again to our session youtube live so today there were a lot of questions on uh, how to treat uh, summer elements and remedies in regarding to summer elements so a lot of people wanted to understand the remedies like natromure or glonine or when it is indicated and how what symptom to take now see what happens every time when you when we are treating about some summer, summer elements there are few remedies which come to our mind and the basic remedies that the first remedy that comes to our mind is natromure now see all cases are not natromure natromure basically has typical symptoms of uh, uh, where you have to make sure that this works properly so in natromure it is written that elements from sun now what is the meaning of elements from normally people will come and tell you that they have lot of headache they have fever and they have uh, uh with great great weakness and disease thirst and all in natromur it is very important to understand that headache of natromur begins with blindness this is a very very important symptom of natromur headache begins with blindness with zigzag dazzling light in the eyes throbbing in the head from eye strains so welcome dr kochar dr smith dr alexander dr madan we were talking basically about the <coughs> natromure and related to sun because it is so hot here that everything is related to sun that's why i'm telling you how to prescribe natromure and what are the symptoms of natromure in regarding to sun second we have if a natromure gets fever there does, there is basically lot of fluttering in the heart there is lot of palpitation and there is a faint feel in the heart means the patient is so becomes becomes so weak because of the sun that he literally faints that is again a very important symptom of natromure uh in in relation to heat or sun third symptom of natromure it is written that natromure is a remedy for headache of school going girls from sunrise to sunset now this is very important because it also has bursting headache like belladonna it else also had he is all it also has headache with red face like belladonna but it also get nausea and vomiting now this is very important nausea and vomiting and of course the patient feels that thousands of hammer uh, were knocking in the brain during fever and natromure is better by perspiration now this is important good evening dr arora so these are the very important symptoms of natromure because this symptoms basic graph from dr mere this symptom basically will guide you in relation to sun now the second remedy that you should remember for sun is glonine or nitroglycerin a nitroglycerin patient basically as a person of nervous temperament nervous temperament and it is see in see it is also a remedy for headache and whenever the patient gets headache because of sun like in natromur you have blindness before headache in glonine the patient feels that the head is enormously large and the skull was very small to accommodate the brain and that's why the headache increases every day with the sun so it is it in sun stroke or headache which every day increases with the sun and the very important symptom is synchronizes with the pulse there shocks in the head which synchronizes with the pulse so this is again a very very important symptom of glonine again throbbing headache similar to belladonna and atramur but the patient holds the head with both hands and cannot lie down that is a very important symptom of glonine and the beating see the throbbing headache of glonine is so much it is written in the books that the pillow even starts beating you can see the pillow moving this is the intensity of headache the brain feels too large you know it feels as if bursting that blunts it it feels as the blood is pumped upwards to the brain and every step every jar pulsates because there is lot of congestion in the brain it is also indicated when there is congestion in the brain from suppressed menses or the sometimes headache in place of menses and of course followed by violent palpitation and throbbing of the carotids like belladonna now these are all the symptoms of headache of glonine i hope you understood glonine everybody i'll 
I'll get to the uh, <clears throat> I'll get to the questions. I'll first finish two three remedies because there are a lot of questions related to glonine and natrium. I'll tell you the rapid the rapidly also. So we have finished two remedies very important. One is glonine, one is natrium. Now, of course, when you're talking of sun, you must remember one remedy, and that is such a peculiar remedy, you know, belladonna. Now, belladonna, yeah, good afternoon, Dr. Gopal. Belladonna is again a very important remedy, and again in relation to sun, we have to see. Belladonna also has <clears throat> the same aggravation from sun, but now here the headache symptoms differ. <clears throat> belladonna headache is also a congestive headache with red face. Throbbing of the brain and the carotids, aggravation from slightest noise, slightest jar, slightest motion, from lie lying down, better by pressure, better by tight bandage, or better by wrapping up. Also, look when a lady tells you that the headache is better when the menses starts, that is also belladonna. As I told you, in glonine, the the beating of the head is so much that the pillow also beats. In the same way, if you want to see a belladonna patient, there is boring in the head of the head into the pillow. That is belladonna. I hope you understand the difference of boring of the head in the pillow, belladonna. The pillow is beating glonine. Natremur has blindness before headache. These are very very small differences that you have to remember in order to differentiate the remedy. Don't always give one remedy natrium. Okay, as you go further, now the patient comes and tells you that the head is very hot, the face is very painful, and the pupils are dilated. You know, and uh, uh, it is said that uh, dilated pupils, the redness of the eyes, redness of the face, the face of the patient appears very reddish type. Uh, that is important in belladonna so these three of course and then you have to see that belladonna personalities are adapted to bilious lymphatic pituitary constitution persons uh, who are very entertaining you know they are very entertaining they are very lively when they are well but violent and delirious when sick that is a belladonna headache so of course there are so many remedies in relation to sun but i was just trying to tell you how to differentiate remedies you know how to differentiate don't always give only one remedy like natrium or belladonna glonine now you have remedies like of course natrium carb is there lacassis is there pulsatilla is there there are a lot many remedies of course uh, if you want to know something about pulsatilla i just i'll tell you something whenever you are prescribing pulsatilla whenever you are prescribing pulsatilla it is very important to understand one thing in pulsatilla you know in pulsatilla it is written that as aggravation from sun but unable to breathe well or in chilly in warm room that is pulsatilla and the pains of pulsatilla drawing tearing erratic pain but rapidly shifting from one to another sometimes here sometimes there and is it accompanied with chilliness more severe the pain more severe the chill Understood. Now, first lessons in complaints and then uh, discharges thick, thick and blend, and these are all symptoms of pulsatilla. So, as you go on, you have lacassis, you have antim crude, and you have so many remedies. But this is how you have to differentiate each remedy because every remedy has got a very peculiar symptoms, and uh, don't always prescribe the remedies which are like natrium or like garmi ay to natrium or thedana. There are so many differentiating features. We have amyl nitrosum, also very in interesting remedy, you know, for uh, heat stroke and all like for instance antim crude if you see again a very very important remedy antim crude it is written in antim crude that headache from river bathing from taking cold from suppressed eruptions from sun from heat gastric origin that is antim crude dispositions to grow abnormal skin of course those are the constant symptoms but these symptoms are very important of antim crude in relation to sun sun headache and then all the symptoms of antim crude too much river bathing headache and uh, whenever there is headache there is irresistible desire to talk in rhymes or repeat the verses sentimental mood special mood moonlight now this is basically antim crude so i hope a few symptoms of mater medica i have just tried to elaborate because when i start mater medica and sun element then 
the whole half an hour would be finished and we will be left with nothing uh, before i st uh, before i stop the differentiation of some remedies just one remedy which i want to share is amyl nitrosum now amyl nitrate i don't know if you have used in your practice or not but it's a very very important remedy sun headache you know it is written in amyl nitrosum that there is increased surging of blood to the face and the head you know itna za it so much surging that it is exactly similar to belladonna and glonain and the patient craves fresh air you know the patient craves fresh air that is a very very important symptom of uh, of amyl nitrosum and we sometimes blindly keep giving belladonna and glonain but amyl nitrosum sometimes is not used as it should be used in our daily practice that's my my dear friends important symptoms to understand that amyl nitrosum very close to belladonna very close to glonain and if you ask me if 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 it is, if you ask me amyl nitrosum if you have never prescribed do think prescribing amyl nitrosum in this type of condition is written in amyl nitrosum that the patient craves fresh air and the patient removes the clothing opens the window in the coldest weather that is amyl nitrosum you know and one thing is there that in amyl nitrosum there is profound and repeated yawning can anybody tell me i have described a headache with yawning which was the remedy anybody and then amyl nitrosum what happened there is flushing the flushing of the face and there is stomach uh, various part of the body there is lot of sweating you know sweating is hot hot and the parts uh, below were icy cold followed by great prostration that is amyl nitrosum so these basically are very interesting remedies and if you have read amyl nitrosum you know it is written that amyl nitrosum acts promptly by inhalation you give an amyl nitrosum to inhale and the patient starts feeling better so do read about amyl nitrosum glonain natremur and tim crude lacasis pulsatilla and try to differentiate those symptoms rather than blindly giving these remedies so, okay forget uh, we have a lot of questions so i'll go the questions first pranam sir i am second bhm student i am confused in mathematics what must remember and what to just understand uh i would suggest only one thing uh keep reading matra medica from the basic books if you are in second year do try to read allen's keynote kent's matra medica uh, one is choudhury's matra medica dr nash clark and then if you get times you should, you should look into herring's encyclopedia and allen's keynote but these books called allen's keynote nash uh choudhury's matra medica and uh, mathur's matra medica these are interesting matra medics which i have read in my school uh, college days and they have really benefited and if you feel that you have uh, understood this then you can go beyond that reading clark's matra medica or beyond that then encyclopedia and again in symptoms but the most important thing in reading matra medica is you have to read it every day nobody can remember all the symptoms it is basically understanding the person and understanding which symptoms is very important in which remedy and in which constitution okay so keep reading it ideal rapid drip for beginners uh, i always tell i always tell you that rapid drip basically everybody when you start reading rapid drip you know, everybody has a pre inclination his own genetic character he likes somebody will like a complete rapid drip somebody will like murphy rapid drip somebody can rapid drip somebody will write boning questions repeatedly it depends upon your choice if you give me a, if if you give me a choice we had been taught uh, kent's matra med uh, kent's repeated in a college day so we very pally with dr kent but now uh, start with dr kent's uh, repeatedly and as you understand kent's repeatedly then you can go to complete repeatedly because it covers uh, lots of remedy and beyond complete repeatedly we have dr murphy's repeatedly which has more of addition of uh, rare medicine so as you start reading kent then complete then murphy but then if you feel that you are very, very pally or you you are very happy with uh, some suppose a complete repetitory then follow that repetitory and uh, repetitory see basically repetitory is only a tool whatever you put in will come out so your your interpretations of the patient symptoms is very important if you interpret properly if you put uh, in the repetitory that a, a proper symptom automatically you will get the remedy 
okay so interpretation of a patient's language through a rubric form is very important severe body ache with feverish feeling after traveling should i take eupatorium perf no eupatorium perfolatum if you want to take you must have lot of chills and bone pains because of traveling you if you have lot of uh, severe body ache and all in this heat of sun you can think about muriatic acid arsenic album and calcary ars and china patient uh, while sitting beside a big pond in city feeling a bit crocodile is coming out and may attack him now these basically are uh, you can say there are lot of uh, lot of personalities who have lots of it is called as whims and notion lot of anticipation lot of fear of uh, uh, impending fear you know ke ye ho jayega wo ho jayega and uh, so in this case there are so many remedies basically and i have not uh, seen a crocodile impending but i would say a uh, fear danger impending and you can think about remedies like coccolis indicus you can think about cicota verosa uh, uh, i think medorenum is there calibrum is there or costicum is also there uh, barking uh, sir please tell us tested remedies for barking cough all remedies are tested dr yasin and for barking cough if you have seen my uh, youtube video i have in detail told about cough so please uh, hear my video on cough and you will get all the remedies in that a child 2 years 2 and 1/2 years from one month disturbs sleeps wakes up 2 3 am gets up and go to the mother sleeps with her talking of wolf mother is tired and not sleeping herself now uh, whenever we are talking about a child 2 and 1/2 years waking up and disturb sleep now if you have a child Uh, having sleeplessness or disturbed sleep because of dreams now if you have uh, disturbed dreams you know there are uh, very very sim- uh, very very interesting remedies you know for a child you can think about antimum tart you can think about zincum metallicum you can think about a uh, ferrum metallicum so i hope you are, you got the answer dr madan uh, sedix sudic syndrome patient has very traumatic experience female did business worked with father 20 years and one day the father sat her and gave her place to brother sir you haven't mentioned the potencies yeah normally i start with 30 potency and then go to 200 the brother uh, brought pancreas and now she is brink of uh, brink of poverty so uh, see if the patient is suffering from maybe he feels that uh, what do you call he has been cheated or been disappointed uh, in in that case you have to understand why and why did is the patient feeling that such so gravely uh, in this case in this student syndrome you know what happens it is it's basically uh, it it will basically cause that the disease itself basically is known as uh, Sud- uh, sudic atrophy uh, and uh, the shoulder uh, there is shoulder hand syndrome i think in this disease so in this case it is very important to understand that if the patient is feeling that he has been wronged so elements from humiliation elements from uh, mortification elements from these becomes then very important symptoms uh, remedies to understand and then the patient develops basically a disease called as this and it is a very syphilitic so there are there are lots of remedies you must you must think about if i was prescribing think about stephesagria ignisha phosphoric acid natremure uh, uh, and uh, or metallicum dr anjali a girl with psd has amnuria and acne which medicine you given yeah dr anjali what happens uh, uh, basically Uh, you have PCOD, so normally in cases of PCOD, you have to have the history because uh, the whole constitution is at a, uh, ha, ha, is throwing symptoms of cyst in the ovaries, and uh, it's a hormonal imbalance. So the whole case thing is important. Of course, I have used lot of polyglyphs remedies like CPA, like calcarea, carb, like natremure, like silicia, sulfur. These remedies come in my practice, but definitely, if the very precise and very interesting symptoms uh, in relation to the patient's personality that is important so the whole case is very important dr anjali low hemoglobin as a 
low hemoglobin basically if you see in cases where the patient's immunity has become low the body is not able to fight fight and that's why the hb is low make sure first that the patient is not suffering from any primary disease like if you have uh, diseases like uh, uh, increased uh, menses problem metarrhagia menorrhagia piles some bleeding that's why anemia so treat that cause if not we have a lot of doctors use remedies like uh, ferrum ferrum phos ferrum metallicum uh, lecithin avanasateva ashwagandha they give good results but if you ask me uh, hemoglobin if there is no cause and the st- patient is still having suffering from that it is basically the problem in the bone marrow so to the, take the whole case she is very about the finance yeah so worried about the finance then the remedies are very very clear think about calcarea carb think about phosphoric acid stephesagrin natremur so please decide the way dose how to give the dose like direct or mixed with what how much dose no normally dr vishal uh, if i give the medicines i give 30 single dose uh, if in acute i give two times a day for two days and wait and watch in if i have the lm potency of that remedy and if the patient is acute i will repeat lm potency every one hourly two hourly depending on the susceptibility and depending on the volatility of the case if in a chronic case we start lm potency we basically give uh, the first lm one twice a day till it's over then depending on the reaction of the patient then lm2 maybe once in two days once in three days once in four days depends upon the patient susceptibility do read that aphorism number 246 the lm potency you know these are very important aphorisms where hanuman has told that uh, you you start using lm potency the new potency it is lm potency or, or 0102 it is same so there were a lot of questions i think i have un- tried to answer very fast if some questions have scrolled up you can always ask me a meal meal 18 eczema scalp painful with medicine now uh, see eczema in the scalp there are few remedies which are very very important two or three remedies that you should remember petroleum one second of course sulfur third miserinum fourth lycopodium and fifth graphitis whatever i have seen in my practice you know sometimes the eruptions of eczema are very excoriating and the hairs also come out there is lot of itching you know in those case mercury petroleum and sulfur give you these good results hello dr nadia dr babel sir remedy for stitch now uh, okay dr 8.9 i told you remedy you know there are do i will take the whole case and see whether the uh, anemia is because of some primary cause or secondary cause so first treat the metarrhagia menorrhagia or bleeding from the stomach or piles or anything bleeding disorder which has related to low hb but still if you want to increase hemoglobin you can think about ferrum metallicum ferrum phos lecithin and alpha alpha 30 potency lm potency in repeated forms dr uh, vinugopal remedy for sty now see sty uh, if i have if you have joined my uh, previous webinar sty remedy there are a lot of remedies you can think about pulsatilla you can think about stephesagria you can think about thuja oromur nitric acid epis mellifica hyparsel okay these are the remedies for sty how to make a dose normally if i if i have a case uh, i give 30 potency uh, four pills of number 20 or if i am giving lm potency i give uh, the that uh, two globules of the size of the poppy seed in 100 ml water give 10 strokes one spoon is the dose so please suggest remedy for seborrheic dermatitis now uh, see uh, seborrheic dermatitis now if is it is basically okay if it seborrhea has a condition where there is lot of mucus or there is lot of discharge of fluids in the in the scalp and in lot of cases you see that the hair gets stuck and there is lot of matting of hairs few remedies which you should remember and the first remedy of course is sulfur second is sarsaparilla third is muxol and one remedy which is again rare but has given me very good result that is oleander remember oleander is a very beautiful remedy which i have got very good results with that oleander then you have remedies where uh, the severe dermatitis then there's lot of uh, uh, what you call scalp formation if it is 
yellow in color think about kali sala discharge is thick think about graphite is uh, there are a lot of remedies but oleander if you have not read oleander do read oleander because it's a very very interesting remedy and i have got very good results with oleander uh you know uh, whenever you are prescribing oleander if i have time so i'll tell you something about oleander in oleander you know there is uh, uh, what do you call there is violent itching eruptions there is bleeding oozing and there is want of perspiration that is oleander excessive scaling but dry yeah if there is excessive scaling then rule out psoriasis you know sometimes what happens we think it is dermatitis and actually it is psoriasis now if you are treating psoriasis make sure that you take the holistic because psoriasis is a mental disease and it is very important to understand that in psoriasis you have to take the whole case i hope you understand so i have told you something about psoriasis in my past webinars also so do think about psoriasis as a differential diagnosis with severe dermatitis if it is totally dry and scaling then you have to think about petroleum sarsaparilla uh, kali sulf and sulfur uh, good afternoon dr zinath excessive skill i have told you wa alaikum assalam dr hussain yeah i hope you again uh, see what i speak normally i speak very fast because there are a lot of questions to be covered you know so be very sure when i speak and when i i hope you understand that so please share experience about hypochondriasis and causeless anxiety attack yeah so uh, first of all you know these cases are uh, really so difficult to treat you know because you treat one symptom and the second symptom start you see the second symptom and the third symptom starts and you keep on changing the remedy then you don't get good results so let me tell you something about anxiety whenever the patient is suffering from anxiety you know you have to understand why is the patient going to anxiety why is the patient behaving such a way because if you see the rubric anxiety there are about hundreds and hundreds of remedies of course it's a soric symptom but if if it goes out of control and the patient becomes panicky then it becomes a syphilitic symptom so we have a rubric fear panickiness about if you are only treating anxiety if a patient only has anxiety then make sure or define his anxiety when is the anxiety more in the morning in the evening in the night for example there are a lot of patients who, who come and tell you that whenever i in the evening i become very anxious so whenever there is an evening anxiety think about nitric acid calcarea carboboy sulfur and sepia then we have anxiety in relation to other modalities like anxiety with palpitation or anxiety uh, in heart disease or because of anxiety he cannot stay stay alone or whenever he wakes up he has anxiety these are all different types of anxieties which you have to first define and understand don't only prescribe for anxiety or for example you will have lot of people who say that i am anxious when i am alone mujhe koi nahi ke sath mein chahiye so first for as arsenic hai or sometimes the patient says that i have anxiety when i am when i am very angry then we have remedy like veratrimal and sepia or sometimes the patient says that when i am going down when i am going down the stairs i have anxiety so the remedy changes depending upon the defining symptoms of anxiety so whenever you take anxiety try to first of all define when is the anxiety and what are the modalities of anxiety before giving the remedy sir do you recommend combination should we go for combinations no as a doctor if you understand that a combination should not be used because then you will not know which remedy is working and what is working and sometimes you combine the remedies the end result is something different you know so be a one remedy prescriber you can repeat that remedy if you are not uh, if you are not happy with that but stick to one remedy good afternoon navjot uh, yeah so we had a very interesting case dr navjot that cirrhosis of liver we have sent the medicine and let's see how does the patient react uh, respond to the treatment okay dr navjot biochemic remedies you see yeah biochemic remedies i used to use before like uh, normally for if the patient comes and tells that there is a lot of cramping pain and there is pain in the uh, during menstruation dyspnea i i use macfosin hot water 
or sometimes for hemoglobin increasing or from acute infection inflammation fevers i use ferum, i use ferum force sometimes i use that sir patient of 80 years has insomnia he said when i try to sleep all memories come in mind like movie and i feel anxiety and run out of the room see uh, when you whenever you are treating a case of sleeplessness you know and you as the age you know as the age it's old age you know old age means sleeplessness bahut hi common hai and whenever you are prescribing for old age you know he has lived the life for 80 years and now after 80 years all the memories flash so whenever you have there are there, there are basically remedies where the patient suffers from sleeplessness or he cannot sleep because of old age now uh, if you see as i as i told you in the fatak remedy there is a rubric called as dotage uh, so the remedy is escolas and arsenic album now secondly now if you are very sure that the patient is basically uh, has suffers from sleeplessness because of lot of thoughts now this basically is a very very common symptom in this in this cases but if you have asked me the question i'll tell you answer old uh, sleeplessness or disturbed sleep because of thoughts and activities and memory do think about three remedies which i have found very useful in my practice first is naxomica second is pulsatilla third is calcarea cap and fourth is bryonia uh dr weber good afternoon dr ramjot yeah okay dr vishaka good afternoon pre menopausal bleeding remedy see normally what happens uh, in menopause uh and it is pre menopausal bleeding so it is very important to understand why is that why is the bleeding you know because there are a lot of pathology involved in that so just giving the remedy i hope it it won't suffice the need but still uh before menses if there is bleeding there are lots and lots of remedy you know uh, you can think about uh, pulsatilla natremur senescio graphitis and causticum which i use in my practice Uh, of course uh, if you see that uh, if uh, that golden ragwood a uh, sinusoidal common name is golden ragwood and if you have again seen the symptoms of that remedy the remedy is a fantastic remedy if you have not used it do think about it there will you know because in sinusio uh, it is clearly mentioned it acts on female organs health and it is verified it has lot of symptom related to female symptom like menses retarded and suppressed is sinusio it is there's one line which is beautifully written in the matramedic you know what functional amenorrhea of young girls with backache understand that line functional amenorrhea of young girls with backache or after menstruation commences this symptom this patient starts improving in every senses so functional amenorrhea there is no cause for amenorrhea and that becomes a very important symptom of senescio of course there are other symptoms like there is before menses there is inflammation of the throat and the chest and the bladder and anemia anemic dyspnea is there uterine uh, urinary disturbances there but this symptoms of functional dyspnea is very important in senescio so anxiety or desire to weep comes in the morning उसको हिम्मत मॉर्निंग ओके सी एंगजाइटी इन द मॉर्निंग नाउ वेन एवर यू टेल मी एंगजाइटी नो दैट एंगजाइटी हैज टू हैव अ कॉज बट इफ यू से दैट एंगजाइटी इन द मॉर्निंग वेन यू गेट वेन यू गेट्स अप इन द मॉर्निंग एंड देर इज लॉट ऑफ एंगजाइटी देर आर थ्री फोर रेमडीज विच आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉस्फरस आर्सेनिक लैकेसिस ग्रेफाइटिस दीज फोर रेमडीज इन द मॉर्निंग cough aggressive due to smell of anything yeah so what happens uh, cough because of smell now i had told you some if you have uh, if you have heard my youtube channel you know about uh, if you have heard my youtube channel of cough i have actually given most of the remedies uh, in that cough but still if you see that whenever the patient has uh, cough because of odor strong odor so there are the remedies basically are basically very sensitive remedies you know alumina bromium pulsatilla ignisia so think about those remedies tuber in the groin areas uh, very big feels hard and color is purple mild 
लुक्स लाइक अ हेमोरेज एंड बॉडी फ्लू बिल्डिंग अप गिव आर्सनिक विच इज हेल्पिंग अ लॉट विथ पेन बट नो कैंसर नो चेंज इन द ट्यूमर no pathology yeah so if there's no pathology whatever drugs i have told you dr zinat uh, you can try those remedies uh, f- so uh, f- yeah so f- you can think about sinusia that's what i'm saying functional dysmenorrhea in young girls yeah so the the question of tumor yeah so if maybe in this case if arsenic is working so mean that you are very close to arsenic but not arsenic so s- sometime try to think about the salt of arsenic either calcarea or natrum or kali or asafrenum then you can move forward yeah so uh, can we have few more questions it's already i think 45 minutes i have one web- webinar coming at about quarter to 4 or uh, i think 10 minutes to 4 so before we sh- uh, close i can take few questions anybody Dr. Babal has no question today. Yeah. So if you want to think about that purple and brown in the middle basically. So uh, if it is very important that it is purple brown in center and all because I have not seen those type of tumors exactly purple and all but if it is that then you have to think about remedies like uh, crotalis cascavela uh, lachesis uh, sepia sulfur so i have seen those in uh... okay sabina i am telling you sinisio i am telling you sinisio oris dr zinat that is written functional disorder this may be and you 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 can all, all, also think about salix nigra gardening in belgium okay you came from gardening fine sabaina see uh, sabaina see also if you have if you have read sabaina before we close something about sabaina now again i would tell you that sabaina is a remedy also which is not used according to its action you know uh, uh, sabaina is such a wonderful remedy and if you go to the mater medic of sabaina you will find so many symptoms which are very very interesting and which are very very important sabaina but we fail to understand but because we we see other remedies like cpathal aspirinum uh, ashok and other, other remedies if you see sabaina it has a fantastic symptom that pain in the small of the back from sacrum to pubis in nearly all diseases the patient comes and tells you the pain comes from the sacrum to the pubis and that is sabaina tendency to miscarriage especially in the third month so sabaina sometimes you know it's it's a it's a interesting remedy when the menses the discharge of blood is between the periods that is sabaina and in sabaina it is such an important the menses are too early too profuse too protracted partly fluid and partly clotted in persons who menstruate very early in life remember that dr uh, zinat in persons or in women in girls who menstruate too early in life that is in, in and if you have seen in your practice there are so many girls who menstruate in fourth class and fifth class in those cases if you give sabaina it will give a beautiful constitutional cure in this case so don't always think about cpia and pulsatilla and thalaspi and millifolium and irigeron and these are specific sabaina go home and read these are such an these are the first menses is early in lead in woman menorrhagia during climatic menorrhagia in during climatic in, in women who have aborted every time remember the first menses is very early in sabaina whatever mathematic i know i am talking okay sir patient used to telling a lie when i asked him about did you eat pan he says no even he comes to me before eating pan <laughs> yeah so see if a patient comes to me with uh, asthma i say don't drink don't take uh, cold water and don't drink fridge water or in heart disease don't take non veg and cholesterol so people basically if they are very bland in to- t- telling the truth that he is eating pan and telling you have not eaten pan then you have to take very shameless patient morals are very low shameless personalities you know so this type of interpretation you can do now uh, 
if he's smelling smelling of pan and he's actually eaten pan and telling you know that means he is a liar so you have uh, you have basically you know some rubrics where you can think about that but just by uh, not telling you that he is uh, not eating pan don't take that rubric because then confirm if he is a born liar he is always speaking the lie so liar remedies you know which are, which are the liar remedies veratrum opium morphinum sifilinum they are liars they never speak the truth, truth, truth. so confirm that symptom first you know bring worm in groin region since 5 years night aggression yeah bacillinum cecum to yeah yes so uh, in fact you have tried all the remedies uh, dr hussein uh, now what should i tell you now whenever there is ring worm or fungus let me also tell you that these are diseases which are very difficult to cure but the when the immunity goes down these symptoms come up so it is very important to take the whole case and prescribe the remedy but you must try ringworm 200 first there is a remedy called as ringworm 200 don't repeat so much just give ringworm 200 as an intercurrent and, and take the and take the case and find something where the immunity has gone down and this fungus or the ringworm has come up but you must give one try to ringworm 200 also think about remedies you must think about thuja silicia ringworm ichnisia and azetaricta indica so i hope i have uh, tried to answer all the questions remaining questions may, may be will okay we have one tissue weakness in the intestine and bladder of 84 years can we yeah we can definitely do something with homeopathy there are remedies where the tissue weakness can be treated uh, in this case uh, we can definitely help the patient the symptom uh, sim- uh, the symptom basically can be improved you know like for instance we have uh, remedies where there is uh, what you call relaxation of connective tissues you can think uh, what i have used you know, calcarea brome magnesium carb ferrum iod sickle corn you can use these remedies and uh, of course the uh, symptoms have to match so uh, medicine for laryngeal asthma no i have i have never given a specific remedy for laryngeal asthma if you give me some symptom what the patient suffering from then symptomatically we can define the patient and then uh, give you the remedy dr uh, rizvi impetigo rash looking like insect bite better from cold bathing give epi smell but not working yeah that is homeopathy you know cold uh, application and depression it is it's 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 a, it's a very important symptom and still it is not working so uh, if if it is basically impetigo and the patient is better by cold so see there are a lot of remedies see the, in in this in this of course epis is one of the one of the very important remedies but you can write down some remedies whatever comes to my mind there are so eruptions cold emulates this is a very very interesting sim- rubric just just remember dr vishak i'll just complete that uh, i said now cold emulates epismel is i know the three marking drug you can think about few remedies dr alexander think about phosphorus natremure oromure pulsatile and mephitis these are the remedies uh, liar liar if you i think i think if you see complete repetitive there is a rubric called liar so you can go and check that there is a rubric called liar so i hope it's already for 350 so i just have to prepare for the next webinar i hope you enjoyed hearing as much as i enjoyed teaching you meet you in the next webinar on next saturday thank you so much for joining